guys, welcome back to video three in our transportation video series for the month of May. This video is going to be all about art in transportation. So if you like these videos, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can check out each video in this series and in the series to come in the next month. All right, let's go. Okay, let's talk art. So I mentioned this in my last video that you can use this art activity for gross motor as well, but it's a great thing to do for art and it takes a little bit of time so it could be something you do over multiple days. You can get cardboard boxes and cut out the shape of cars, boats, or trains and you really don't have to cut out a lot. Maybe just give an outline with a marker instead of actually cutting a lot out of the box but make sure that the child can stand in the box as well and maybe give it some straps that can go over the child's shoulders. The children can create cars, trains, or boats, and then once it's all done, either by painting, coloring, or gluing things onto the cardboard box, you can take them outside to play with them in a little town that you make with chalk, or just even to play with on their own. If you want to see my ideas for that in a little bit more detail, go ahead and check out last week's video here. The next art activity is very simple. All you need is paper and some play cards. Now, when you pick out your cars, you will want to pick out some cars that have different tread on the tires so that the track painting that we're going to create looks like tracks and not just lines. I would pick a different color for each car and let the children roll their cars in the paint and then over the paper however they want to create a car track painting. Okay, next you can have the materials for them to create a traffic light and also a stop sign. Now these are things that they can either take home or you can keep and let them play with in the home center later on. I used a die cut to cut out my letter, but it might also be fun to have the children spell out the letters onto the stop sign. And lastly, you can color and create paper airplanes. Let them free color the piece of paper first and then let them fold the paper airplane or you fold it for them if they are younger preschooler children. The fun thing is they can take all of these projects home to show what they are doing in school and talk about what they're learning with their parents. So those are my quick ideas on how you can incorporate transportation into your art projects at school or at home. If you have any other fun ideas or anything that you've already done, let me know in the comments what they are. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. I put videos out once a week on topics like this, so don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when the videos go live. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.